Hello YouTube and welcome back to Used and Reviewed. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the motion and gesture controls on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now many of you will remember I've done a similar video for the S3 back some time ago now so I wanted to uh, show you what motion controls and gestures are available on the S4. To get to them, settings menu, select my device, scroll down, motions and gestures. There are three areas. We've got air gestures, which are mainly used with control of the hand across the sensors at the top. We've got motion controls, which is a physical movement of the device. And then we've got a few options around palm motion as well by touching the screen with your hand. So let's kick off with air gestures. There are five available. The first one we're going to look at is quick glance. When the screen is off, reach towards your device to see important information at a glance. Now we'll demo this now and effectively this uses the sensor at the top when the screen as you can see has turned off if we move a hand over the sensor it will wake slightly and provide some notifications, battery life, any missed calls and messages. Now I guess the idea for this is if you're in bed at night potentially and you don't want to open up the, the phone and have it the full brightness you can just quickly glance and see if you've got any notifications there. In terms of the options available, we can have notification icons, missed calls, unread messages, battery power, and current music information if you've got music playing at that time. Next, we have Air Jump, which allows us to scroll web pages in screen size jumps. Now, not only can you do this for internet and web pages, but also for emails. And we'll try this now. So here is a web page, move your hand up or down above the sensor and the idea is that it flicks down the web page or email. Useful? I don't know, maybe. Or maybe we're just a bit too lazy to swipe the screen ourselves. Next is Air Browse, which allows us to move between pictures, pages or music tracks with a hand gesture. So let's try this. Here we've got a gallery. And it says move your hand left or right above the sensor and it should move and swipe across gallery pictures. Again, how useful that is, I don't know. Um, in terms of what applications support this, we've got the gallery which was just part of the demonstration. You, you can do it between internet pages and tabs. Uh, the music player, so you can flick through music tracks, music on the lock screen as well as S Memo pages as well. Next, we have Air Move, which allows us to move app shortcuts or the S Planner events to different pages. This one's a bit of a funny one, to be honest. If we try it, it'll make a little bit more sense. So we've got an icon here, and we want to hold it, and if we want to put it into a different page, instead of actually having to drag it to the edge of the screen and wait for the page to move, we should be able to flick, as you can see there, flip the screen, and go to a different home page and drop the applications. And the final air gesture is air call accept. So here you can wave your hand over the screen to accept any incoming calls. So let's try this. And you can see the option there. Once we do this, we can we can set it to automatically start the speakerphone so that obviously you don't need to pick up the device to talk and take your call. So here we go. There's a call coming in. And you basically have to move your hand left and right to accept the call. And there we go, just to show you again. Now, I have noticed as well on this, you can't simply swipe once. You have to swipe it a couple of times to accept the call. We're now going to take a look at the motion controls. So this is about holding onto the device and moving it to do a certain action. So we have a number of uh, actions here, and some of them actually have come across from the S3. Direct call. Basically, as you can see here, if you've got a contact in front of you and you've got the details, you can raise the phone up to your face and it will actually dial that person. So, for example, you could be in a, a message and you want to call the person quickly, pick it straight up to your face, and there we go. Next one we've got is Smart Alert. So this, this effectively it vibrates if you've had a missed call or a message when you pick up the phone. 
I actually have this turned on. It's quite useful if you, uh, you've you not seen the notification. And I, you have to take my word for it here unless you can hear the vibration. But if the device is down and the screen is off, as you can see here, when the screen's off, if we pick it up, it vibrated then. I don't know if you heard it. So that's just to let you know that you've got some notifications. The next motion control we've got is for tilt and it's really to zoom in and out of a picture. So just to give you an example, here's a photograph and the idea is that you can hold two fingers onto the device and if you pull in at that point it will zoom in, push away and it will zoom out. If you want to zoom in on the boat, likewise. What's actually changed in this version is you've got a sensitivity so you can it should be slightly faster or slow depending on what your setting is. Next motion control we've got is to pan and we can browse an image and effectively pan around the image itself and I'll show you, you keep your finger on the device and as you can see as I'm rotating the camera it's actually looking around the photograph depending on where I'm actually tilting or panning the phone. Fairly useful Again, I don't know. And the final motion control we've got is a turnover motion. And that we can use for muting or pausing uh, sounds. Now, this has changed slightly uh, from the S3. You had to, on the S3, you had to actually physically put the device on the table. You'd get intermittent issues and it wouldn't always work, to be honest. And I'm pleased to say that what will happen here is we just have to turn the device over. So here we have some incoming call, turn the device over and as you can see it's muted the call so just do it again call's been muted so quite useful you know if you're in a meeting and you forgot to turn your uh, your phone on silent you can quickly just turn it over and it will mute the call or pause any videos or sounds that you may have and so on to the final motion and gestures we have palm motion and this is all about controlling the device by touching the screen with your hand and we have two features available the first to admit is a really useful uh, feature and it's all about capturing a screenshot by simply swiping across the device with your hand now I'll just show you this in practice so we've got an image here and if we swipe across there we go a screenshot has been taken I find that quite a useful feature on the S3 and I'm glad that it's obviously on the S4 as well. So the second feature in the palm motion is the mute or pause. And this allows you to mute any incoming calls or pause sounds by simply covering up the screen with your hand. Now I've noticed actually it's not about hovering over the screen. You have to physically touch it. And here's a demo, some music playing. If I hover it won't stop. But if I put my hand on it, it stops or mutes the music or pauses it if, it if it is actually a music file being played. Quite a useful feature and uh, probably one of the more useful ones available. The only final option you may have seen on this menu is the gyroscope collaboration. And really this is just to make sure that the device is collaborated so that it's going to obviously work when you're trying some of these motions and gestures. So guys, that pretty much sums up the, uh, the video. I hope you like it. Please, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We'll have plenty more coverage on the S4. Leave us a comment. What do you think about these motions, controls and, and gestures? Are they useful? You know, personally, some are, some are useful. Some definitely not very useful at all. And some are just rather gimmicky. Let me know in the comments section below. So guys, once again, this has been used and reviewed. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.